the BC Residential Tenancy Branch presents an information video on condition inspections. In a tenancy, there are some important tasks to take care of. One of these is a condition inspection. Condition inspections are done to show the condition of a rental unit and to document any required repairs or damage. Inspections help protect both the landlord and tenant. Condition inspections are also important because they're tied into the security deposit at the end of the tenancy. If the landlord or the tenant do not do the condition inspection correctly, they may lose their right to the deposit. Condition inspections should always be done together by the landlord and tenant. If either party is unavailable, they can appoint someone to attend on their behalf. Just remember to let the other party know about this before the inspection. There are three times during a tenancy when an inspection must be done. An inspection is done at the start of the tenancy at move-in. A final inspection is done at the end of the tenancy when the tenant is moving out. An inspection is also done during a tenancy when the tenant first gets a pet and a move-in inspection was not done. Remember, the inspection should be done before a pet deposit is paid during a tenancy. The best practice is that the unit be empty when an inspection is done at the start and end of a tenancy. After all, it's a bit hard to see stains on the carpet if the floor is covered in moving boxes. Remember to fill out the condition inspection report when conducting the inspection. That's your way of documenting the inspection and any damages. Here's what the form looks like. It has a section for each room of a rental unit and subsections for various parts of a room like flooring, appliances, walls and fixtures. Sometimes a landlord will rent out a furnished unit. Additional pages may be added to document the condition of any furnishings provided with the rental. It's a good idea to be detailed when documenting the condition of an item and existing damage. It's the landlord's job to schedule the inspection and it's helpful when both the landlord and tenant are flexible when arranging a suitable time. If the landlord and tenant cannot agree to an inspection time, the landlord may provide an alternate time using the proper form. When doing the inspection, the landlord and tenant will walk through the rental unit and make notes regarding damage on the inspection report. This includes things like scratches on surfaces or stains on the carpet. It's a good idea to take photos if possible, but photos alone don't take the place of a properly completed report. Remember, a landlord and tenant must both sign the completed inspection report. If a tenant disagrees with the landlord's assessment, they are welcome to write their own comments on the inspection report before signing it. Landlords, remember to provide your tenant with a copy of the inspection report each time one is completed. A copy of the move-in report must be given to the tenant within seven days. The move-out report must be provided to the tenant within 15 days of the inspection and receipt of the tenant's forwarding address. Condition inspections are an important part of every tenancy. For more information on conducting a condition inspection, visit our website at www.gov.bc.ca slash landlord tenant.